Hello dear students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2017 exam. It is also for two marks. They have given you these two functions. They are named foo and bar. Question is, if we are calling these functions with three as parameter, what will happen in both cases? Okay, so I'll display the image of this question. You can do one thing, you pause the video right now and have a look at the question as well as the four options. I hope you have read the question by now. So let's start this one with this function, okay. This means from main function, we are calling function foo and we are passing three as parameter. Suppose this is activation record of main, okay. Now, because we are making a function call, one more activation record will be pushed corresponding to the new function that is called, okay. So for this function, this is the activation record. In this activation record, there will be a local variable that is of integer type and is named web. And we are passing three as parameter. So this variable, it will get three. In first line of this function also, we are declaring one more variable that is named x and has a value zero, okay. In next line, you can see we have written a while loop. Condition of this loop is val is greater than zero. Val, which is three, is actually greater than zero. That means the condition is true. So because the condition is true, we are going to execute this line, okay. In this line, we are trying to update the value of this variable x. What is the new value that we want to assign to it? That is current value plus whatever is returned by this function call. That means we need to push one more activation record because we are calling one more function. Now, what is being passed to this new function? Current value of val is passed. After passing this value, we have to decrement this variable named val. See, whenever minus minus is written after a variable, this means we are using post decrement operator. So how to evaluate it? First use this variable's value, then decrement this variable. So first we have to use this value. Currently it is three. That means foo three is called, then this three is decremented like this. Okay, it becomes two. Now, we have called a function and we have passed three as parameter. That means the activation record will be pushed. VAL, this variable gets three, access declared with the value zero, okay. Similarly, you will execute this line only. It is true. Again, you will execute this line. So in this activation record, you are trying to update the value of X. New value that is assigned will be current value plus whatever is returned by this function call. So see, here also you'll use the current value of val, which is three. So we are passing three. And this will be decremented to two because of minus minus. Now we have passed three, that means in new activation record, val will get three, x will get zero. Again, the loop will evaluate to true. This condition will be true. Again, you will pass three. This will become two. And this process will keep on happening infinitely. So have a look. Eventually, this stack will be filled. The system will run out of memory. Hence, OS will forcefully terminate this process. Because OS will see this process is taking a lot of memory. It's calling functions again and again and is not ending. So OS will just take control and it will forcefully terminate this process, okay? So let us now talk about this function. In this function, what will happen? Suppose this is the stack. So suppose this is activation record of main. From main, we have called this function that is named bar and we have passed three as parameter. Now, because we have passed three, this variable is going to get a value three. Then we'll come to the first line of this function, which says and x is equal to zero. That means we are declaring a variable that is of integer type and has a value zero. Then you'll come to this next line, which says while val is greater than zero. So three is greater than zero. That means this condition is true. So you have to execute the body of loop. Let us suppose this is line number j. Okay, now we are executing line number j for this function. 
in this line number j there is a function call see we are trying to update value of x the new value that we want to assign to it is current value plus whatever is returned by this function call so because we have called a function a activation record is pushed and we are passing val minus 1 that means 3 minus 1 which is 2 so in new function this variable is going to get a value 2 so val is equal to 2 okay then int x will be declared which has a value 0 now see in this function you were at line number j in line number j a function was called okay and you push this activation record whenever this function will end you have to come back to this function only and you will resume from line number j okay this function is waiting for this one at line number j now see what will happen inside this function first line is and x is equal to 0 we have executed it then there is a while loop and you can see this condition is true 2 is greater than 0 so you have to execute this one here again there is a function call so you are calling a function and the value that has passed is 2 minus 1 so in new function we are going to get 2 minus 1 which is 1 x will be declared with the value 0 and whenever this function returns you have to come back here and you will resume from line number j only okay what will happen here the condition of loop is true you will call one more function and you are going to pass 1 minus 1 that is 0 like this and coming back to this one whenever this function returns you will come back here and you will resume from line number j only okay now have a look inside this function you have to executed from line number one of the function that is from here so int x is equal to zero is done while val is greater than zero this is false that means you will come out of this loop and you are going to return well this function returns a value zero okay because this function is returning then you will just pop its activation record and zero will be used inside this function at line number j that means here see in this function you made this function call now whatever function was called it returned a value 0 that means this variable this one has to be updated with the value current value that is 0 plus whatever is returned that is 0 so 0 plus 0 is assigned to x which means x has remained x remains unaffected only okay now let us see what will happen here inside this function val is still 1 that means in next iteration when you will check this condition it will still be true so you will just execute this line once again and everything will be same because whatever you will pass is same okay see once more because loop condition is true this will execute the same line with same parameter only so 1 minus 1 0 is passed this gets 0 x has a value 0 this will again return okay and the value that you are going to get here is 0 x will be updated with 0 plus 0 only that means no change is taking place the same things they will keep on repeating infinitely so in this function there is an infinite loop okay this function will never end these things they will keep on happening again and again you will push this activation record then it will be popped then you will again push it then it will be popped and it will happen infinitely so result is this function the function foo it will be abnormally terminated or forcefully terminated by the os or the system might even hang and in this one there is an infinite loop so what is the difference in this function you keep on pushing activation records and no record will ever be popped until the memory is full okay until you run out of the memory inside this you will never run out of the memory because there are only one two three four activation records and whenever you push fifth one immediately it will be popped again you will push fifth one immediately it will be popped from the perspective of os this function or this program it's doing something useful but we know nothing useful is being done 
same lines are repeating itself okay so os will not ever get to know about this thing that there is some infinite loop os will think the program is doing something useful it's executing instructions so just let it execute so this function will never end okay and hence answer is option c abnormal termination and infinite loop